Ever since the infamous time for some traffic problems in Fort Lee, email went public. Chris Christie and his staff have been tasked with the challenge of winning back the governor's political future. Imagine waking up every morning working for the guy whose administration is under five, five, count them five, state and federal investigations, thinking, how do we get the gov back on track? Perhaps you might be tempted to try to use Christie's high-profile national position as chairman of the Republican Governors Association. As head of the RGA, Christie could find a really beloved fellow governor and do some photo opping and some coattail riding. If he could just throw his arms around a really popular Republican politician, it might just remind everyone how popular Chris Christie used to be. Sounds like a decent plan, right? Well, that's almost what Chris Christie did this week, except instead of a really popular, beloved fellow Republican, he decided to appear in public with this guy. When the governor declined invitations to the NAACP's annual Martin Luther King Breakfast Monday, as well as the special dinner Sunday night, Portland chapter president Rachel Talbot Ross expressed concern that LePage had repeatedly declined the organization's invitations. A reporter asked the governor his thoughts. And what's your response to them saying this is more than just one instance, but rather a pattern? Tell him to kiss my butt. He seems nice. Yes, that's right. Governor Christie went to the great state of Maine this week to campaign for the massively unpopular Tea Party Governor Paul LePage, who, as you just saw, started his tenure in 2011 by telling the NAACP to kiss his butt, and who, shockingly, is among the most endangered Republicans of 2014. And Christie didn't just campaign with Paul Kiss My Butt LePage. He made sure to let everyone know that Chris Christie and Paul LePage are just two peas in a pod. One thing they can't say about LePage and I is that we sound like everybody else. We don't. Uh, because we tell the truth, we say what we think, we're very direct. Um, and, and the only people who don't like that are the people who don't agree with our opinion. Well, that's right. They are very direct, and sometimes people don't like it. For instance, the fine folks, the NAACP, who would rather not kiss Paul LePage's butt, as instructed. But why stop there? Colin Woodard came out with an excellent catalog earlier this year of Paul LePage being direct over the year. Like the time he defended his decision to reverse the state's ban on the chemical BPA in baby bottles, quote, by saying, with a smirk, the worst that could happen was that some women may have little beards. Or when he told Maine students, quote, if you want a good education, go to private schools. If you can't afford it, tough luck, you can go to public school. Or that time he was sitting in a fighter jet simulator and joked he wanted to blow up a local newspaper building. Or those two times he compared the IRS to the Nazis. Chris Christie is right. Paul LePage doesn't sound like everybody else. Maybe that's a good thing. Joining me now, Democratic Congressman Michael Michaud of Maine, who is running for governor this year against Paula Page. And, uh, Congressman, here's my question. Every time I hear about Paula Page and his antics up there, I think, what the heck are they doing up there in Maine? What's going on? I'm serious. What's going on in your state? You guys have such a reputation for being sensible and, you know, just carefully considered and independent. How did this happen? <laughs> well, good evening, Chris. Uh, well, Maine is an incredible state, uh, and Mainers have, have a lot to offer. It's unfortunately because of our governor that we're on the late night TV shows, uh, you know, with the, some of the comments that he's made. That's not what Maine's all about. Maine uh, cares about one another. Mainers are, are there. Uh, we're, progressive state and the fact that the governor has come up with some of the comments like NAACP kiss my butt type of comment that's what not Mainers about uh, Mainers uh, care about uh, everyone and that's one of the reasons why I'm running for governor Chris is because I've been able to over the years in uh, the, both the legislature and in Congress been able to work across the aisle uh, work out issues and respect people even if you disagree with them still respect their so, opinions and that's one thing our governor does not so do. Yeah, so the respect is clearly an issue let's let's put aside the kind of verbal aggressiveness um, what's the record been for Paul LePage in Maine over these last four years? Well, his record's been terrible. You look at this governor. Uh, he's uh, issued more vetoes than any other governor. It's very clear he doesn't know how to govern. And the fact that he's uh, vetoed bills that has bipartisan support, a good example is the expansion under the Affordable Care Act for the 70,000 Mainers uh, for Medicaid. It was a bipartisan compromise, Republicans and Democrats, and he's vetoed it a couple of I, times, you know, and that's we, wrong. We put up this map. We put up this map in my show all the time. It's all the states not expanding Medicaid, and there's this one state that sticks out like a sore thumb where you think to yourself, how, of all the places, Maine, for the love of God, that you're not expanding Medicaid? Is that issue a big issue in the campaign? Well, it d definitely will be a big issue. The, the governor feels comfortable that uh, Mainers do not want to expand it. An overwhelming majority of Mainers do want uh, expansion under the Affordable Care Act. And as governor, on day I'll submit legislation to expand access for the 70,000 Mainers that this governor has uh, 
uh, denied access to because of his vetoes. Okay, so I don't find the guy particularly appealing, but someone does. The guy got elected. What is, what's the Paul LePage appeal? Well, actually, if you look at the, uh, how he got elected, there were five individuals in that race, and he got elected by minority uh, vote uh, of, of Mainers. And the fact that this race is primarily a two-person race between the governor and myself, I feel really good where I'm at today. Uh -huh. We've been leading in all the polls, and we'll, we will be debating the issues. Congressman Michael Michaud, who has never told me or anyone else, so far as I know, to kiss his butt, gubernatorial <laughs> candidate for Maine. Thank you so much.